Hey guys, Clayton here, and today we are going to be installing this ADATA 480 gig SSD into my recently acquired 2012 MacBook Pro. It is the mid 2012, so it is upgradable. <laughs> and I know we are all cheering. Apple hasn't made an upgradable Mac since the Mac Pro, which just came out, what, this year technically, but it's also $6,000 starting, which, you know, no college student can afford. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this disassembly here. We're going to have multiple screws, as you can see, and I'll kind of hold it up so you can see there's a couple pretty much all the way around the Mac. So I'm going to get started on that. And I've got my handy dandy electric screwdriver with me help me out yes and the ones down on the bottom here where the feet I guess where my sticker is are gonna be these longer screws like this don't know why exactly and I'm missing a screw there so we will just move on to this one and I will come back to you once I get all the screws removed guys I have just removed all the screws so we're gonna go ahead and it should should just pull off just like that and now we can see the internals of this MacBook Pro and as you guys can see this is the original hard drive and I will kind of lift it up for you guys to get a good look at that actually that's not the original but it's a 500 gigabyte hard drive and it's even got the CD-ROM sawed in there so what we're gonna do so now we're going to actually be removing these screws right here I know they're kinda hard to see but we're gonna be removing these screws right there so we will get started with that And it pops out like that. Now we're gonna do the other side, which appears to be this one. Oops, wrong one. These ones here. Which I'm not sure these are the same, so I'm gonna go ahead and set them off to the side. they do appear to be the same and our SSD will lift right up and our ribbon cable here you want to be very delicate to not pull too hard on that should just come right out like that and there is your 500 gigabyte hard drive old little guy right here crazy but now we'll set this aside and we will move on to our SSD, which hopefully I can get this open, pull to open. Ah, here we go. If you guys were wondering, I did acquire this as more of like a gift. Someone in my family was done with it, so I was like, they asked me if I wanted it, and I was like, sure. I've been using it actually with the hard drive. Hang on, I'm gonna take this off screen been using it with the hard drive and it actually has been fairly okay of an experience sure it takes a while but it's been an okay experience so I can't complain too much throw the trash on the floor here all right I finally got this unboxed and as you can see same connector here so all we're gonna need to do is we are going to need the hardware We do need the hardware off of this actually. I, I am mistaken and that is my bad. I forgot about that. We do need the hardware which it looks like it is a Torx which I will have to grab 
a different bit for you real quick. So give me one sec, guys. back we're going to remove these screws on the side here which are very tight I'm gonna to have to get a legit screwdriver give me one sec I don't like to tighten things manually because I fear I will over tighten them that is why I use the electronic one because you do not want to over tighten your hardware screws so and these will come off just like that. Okay, now we can set that off to the side. And now we have our SSD, which we're going to install these into. They're going to work the same concept, but I'm going to use my electric screwdriver so I do not over tighten on these. It would probably be easier if I just got them started with my normal screwdriver, but you know, we like to uh, make things harder on ourselves around here, so that's what I'm going to do, guys. Now that we've got those installed, take this here and we will actually just plug her in just like our old hard drive was plugged in. Make sure it's in there good. And this will drop down in just like our old hard drive did as well. Maybe if things go correctly. There we go. All right. That is in. So we will work on this first. And we oh, we actually do that last. This is a normal head. Switch on over. All right. So, I'm going to screw. Right now is not the time to be magnetized. Screw. All right. Screw that in, and we'll take this and screw this in. Oh, that didn't sound like it was tightening very well. I think we're good. There we go. Yeah, we're tight. All right, and then. We will install this the same way we did by setting it in here, seating it correctly, hopefully. I'm going to kind of do these so I don't cross thread them too terribly. Okay, that one's in. That seems to be in. We are installed guys so now all we have to do is we will put our back plate back on which let me grab it <laughs> very clean and tidy remember which way we put it on which my side had the sticker or I guess you could say the Apple information here at the bottom and our long screws went in right here and we will time lapse this bad boy and that was our last screw guys 
So we got everything screwed in. Let's now flip her over. And I actually backed this up via time machine. Now I will change the angle on that a little bit so that you guys can see that a little better. And let's get her booted. And control R. All right, guys, as you can see, I actually got my Mac booted now, and it is booting from the internet, which I'm not sure why it's not giving me the option to command R to do disk utility, but right now I'll let it boot from the internet. Other than that, I think that's it. That is a full install guide on how to install an SSD into a mid-2012 MacBook Pro. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and if you... Want to see more content like this? Leave me a comment down below on what you want to see next. Thank you guys and goodbye.